Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. This is Stephanie. I'm also known as Glitzy Jump. Thank you for joining me here today. For those who are new to my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, also give my video a thumbs up. And for those who are returning subscribers, welcome. Thank you for being here as well. In today's video, I'm going to go ahead and talk to you about something that, that I had no idea. I, I just, um, they're news, they're old news. They're old news for sure. It's just news to me, but I'm just like, I live under a rock, okay? Let's just put it that way. <laughs> I'm not very in tune with what's going on out there in the world uh, until it hits me. And I know that's wrong. I need, I need to do better and get to know more about what's going on out there in, in the real world than just being stuck on my phone, right? Just on social media and gathering the information that I didn't even know that even existed, that even happened. And I had to find out through my phone. <laughs> I think that's technology that's technology for for the alpha age, right? You know. <laughs> um all about iPhones, iPads, that's where they that's where they they watch their movies and news and that's how they find out about what's going on out, out going on out there in the world before you know it. Uh it's already here and you have no idea because you didn't watch it live, you know, you're just watching it as you know, as it happens, you know. <laughs> As it had already happened or it's happening. So today we're going to go ahead and use my palette. My Ace Beauty or Ace Beauty Floral Vintage Palette. Yes, this is a recycled palette. I said recycled because it's a palette that I've had, you know, in my stash. You know, I don't know if you call it a shop my stash or if you just call it a recycled palette. I don't know what you would call palettes that you just, you know, just your collection of palettes that you have. And this is something that was pretty pretty popular back last year when they were creating looks for the springtime. So <clears throat> I got this through Ipsy, Boxy Charm by Ipsy. I think at the time it was still Ipsy or Boxy Charm. I think Boxy Charm was still around. Maybe not. No, I'm wrong. Maybe. Sorry guys, this is how much I, I know about Boxy Charm. I just know that I've been with them for so long that I don't even know. I can't even remember the anniversary date when they when they actually combined together and became one. <laughs> so in, so if you, if you notice in these colors, if you're new to this palette, if you're new to the beauty world, this is how this palette looks like. Really nice, neutral, Cut, you know, it has like names of flowers in this palette. It has a nice big mirror here. Um, but yeah, it has, there's some shimmers in here and then you have your mattes. So it's a matte and shimmer palette, real pretty colors. They do speak spring to me. I still have no idea what I want to create for my look today. I'm just going to wing it like I always do. And um, I may call out my brushes, the brushes that I use. Sometimes I don't call them out, but you know, sometimes I do. So this is my favorite go-to. It's my Cosmopolitan. It's like a shader and it's a dense brush and it's like a flat dense brush. As you can see, this is really good for hooded eyes. This is the reason why this is one of my go-tos and I think it's about to retire because you can see the bristles are a little mangled now from having to clean it over and over. So yeah, I'm going to go, I'm just going to, I just showed you the colors in here. I will just tell you the shade names I'll be using as I talk to you about, uh, while I'm creating this look and I talk to you about, I'm going to go, I'm going to go in with spray rose. Maybe I should just create the look and not even let not even tell you what it is but what what shade it is but um i don't know what should i do because i do want to talk and at the same time i, I want to create an eye look so let me just tell you the colors i'm using now so i'm using spray rose as a base color on, on my crease and i think i'm gonna put it on my lid as well as a base shade So, um, like I was saying, yeah, I am. I, I live under a rock, guys. I don't get my news until late, or my father's telling me, "You didn't hear about this. You didn't hear about that." It's like, no, I'm in my own little world. Next shade I'll be going into is with. Let me see. I'll be going in with tropical hibiscus. Just this one next to the screen shade. And I don't think I'm going to be showing you my palette as much because this is a peachy tone. I'll just describe the color to you. So the one I just put on is more like a very nude shade. And then the next shade I'll be putting on, it's like a pinky peach shade, like in the muted pinky peach 
shade and I'll be putting that all on the outer corner but like I was saying I am I'm shocked I am shocked at some of the news that I had no idea I mean that I read up on on Google I was actually just looking up information from Ace Ace Beauty to see if there's anything I can talk to you today about and I finally came I, I just came across this this um article news article i've been putting it for 2024 so i don't know if this is an old article or if it's new but i did put 2024 you know in the search engine as news i wanted for this year maybe they're just current news because 2024 we're still in march so it's pretty new so i'm pretty sure it's probably old news probably from 2023 or older than that but that's the the most recent news i found for 2024 on ace booty and i think i'll go ahead and put it i'll go ahead and put i'll put them up here on this on the screen you know these articles you know where i had looked up this information from guys because um yeah so maybe you can read along or maybe you can see you know just give you like a visual aid so first off i didn't know that ace butte or ace beauty was founded and owned by a black owned company i had no idea guys did y'all know that because i did it i was in the dark about that i had no idea and i was excited i was glad because i love ace beauty you know it's one of my favorite formulas i always rave about the formula on ace beauty um but i'm not sure if a lot of you knew that it was a black owned company leave me your comments in the section down below if you knew this or not uh but yeah i read here Founded in 2015 by Nia and Nyekan Atang. Maybe I didn't say that right. I'm saying it too fast. Uh, by Nia Anikan Atang. There, that sounds better. Ace Booty is a black owned woman. I'm sorry, black woman owned, cruelty free beauty brand. Best known for its ultra pigmented, vibrant eyeshadows. So I was excited when I read that as well. So, yes, and um, Black History was last month in February. If I would have known that, I probably would have done a tribute, you know, using Ace, Be Ace Beauty uh, palettes or just any um, Black-owned company brand palettes. I have Colored Rain. I have Julius Place. I have so many. I have so many of them. But I was just surprised, you know, that this was, that, that was, that I read that and I was like excited and, um, wonderful, wonderful news. I mean, their formula is, is divine. So the next thing I want to go ahead and do is I'm going to use the shade Buttercup, which is this Marigold shade here. I'm going to go ahead and put that all in the lid. Yeah, so... And I also have some of their press-on nails that um, I may not even be able to get to, I may not be able to get to use because I don't know when I'm going to start this job. Um, if y'all haven't seen my video yesterday, I'll go ahead and put it up here so you can watch it. It was just talking about how I went to my interview and at my interview, um, it just it just sounded promising. They just needed to contact. They just needed to um, interview two more candidates before they made their their decision. So I may be called on for a second interview, and I hope I do get called on for that second interview, you guys. So yeah, love the pigment, love the formula of Ace Booty, one of my favorites. So another fun fact, this is how it's looking now, guys. Really pretty. I love that yellow. That yellow really looks really, really nice. I'm going to go ahead and get me some depth on the outer corner because it's just looking kind of, um, it's just looking like, it, 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 I need some depth. That's how it looks like to me. I don't know how I to explain it. It looks like I need some depth, okay? I'm going to go ahead and use... Which shade should I put on? There's a global thistle. 
and there are some there's a shade aster which is more like an averaging shade i really don't know how where i want to go with this look i think i'm gonna go ahead and go with um yeah because i don't want it to be too dark either um i'll go i'll go ahead and go in with see how is this really dark you guys to go on the yeah that looks too much like october october november vibes to me i'm gonna go ahead and go in with this shade called globe thistle which is like a reddish brown this one here called globe this one guys this palette is really nice i think i'm not sure if they still have it on on ipsy or not i'm sure they're still offering it you know when they're doing their add-ons or when they have their drop shops or mega drop shop well i don't even know if they have mega drop shops now or drop shops um i think it is i think they do so this is about this is another brush that i'm about to retire as well this is one of my favorite uh brush sets uh by lavish this is just an angled shader brush and it's really packed dense as well i'm using that on the outer corner it, it feels starting to feel really, really coarse you guys maybe i just need a wash them and then they'll get softer again that's probably what i need that's probably what i'll do first before i retire them i'm just gonna wash them and see how they do you know so if i still get the same effects as as i'm getting now where it's just it's too rough then yeah i'll have to retire it so but oh i love that shade guys look at that isn't that lovely? Isn't that lovely? Ace Beauty is has the most wonderful formulas. So the second fun fact I know about Ace Beauty that I had no idea. Let me read it to you. Was that uh, Texas native Nia Nikon Atang is the founder and one and owner of Ace Beauty, a black woman-owned, cruelty-free, Houston-based beauty brand that is best known for its ultra-pigmented, vibrant eyeshadows. So right there is really close to home. Yes, it is. The, it, I'm not sure they're talking about the brand was was had came up in Houston or if Nia is the one from Houston the founder or both you leave me your comments in this section down below and let me know for sure these are old news I know they're old news they're just new to me I was just shocked I was like wow I had no idea I didn't know I really didn't know and I really didn't raise a question like who would be the owner who was the owner co-founder of Ace Booty I just knew that they had a very good wonderful formula I want to get PR from them you know I went on their sites I even bought palettes when they were on sale it, it, it was one of my favorite brand name eyeshadows so the next thing I want to go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and put a shimmer across the lid here and I'm gonna use a flat brush if I can find one so that was shocking that was that was shocking to me guys is that shocking to you guys have y'all heard did y'all hear about that and this is by the Texas lifestyle magazine that wrote that article and black enterprise is the one that wrote the article about it being a black woman owned cruelty free company in 2015 yeah so yeah beauty news guys beauty news well i tell you what we should do a tribute to all the entrepreneurs out there you know who are actually you know who are small businesses and they're actually trying to strive into actually trying to make it out there to make their to expand their business which i commend them a lot for it you know that's that's pretty wonderful all right so I'm gonna go ahead and use a fluffy brush, a fluffy clean brush. I'm gonna use this shade called Daffodil. First, let me go ahead and kind of blend this top where the creases just blend it out, just kind of 
make sure that it looks seamless. I'm gonna do the other the other eye off camera so then you can see the final look. Okay, I'm gonna use a shade called Daffodil, which is a lighter yellow here at the top. And I will use that also along with my blending. I'm blending here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go back in with that dark shade, the marigold shade, the, the buttercup shade. And I will go ahead and add more of that pigment onto the lid. Add more of the glow thistle which is like the reddish brown just kind of in the crease and just blend that with the, with the clean brush And then going back with that spray rose, which is that new blush shade, the one that I use for, no, I'm sorry, the tropical, let's go back with the tropical hibiscus there that I use for the crease. So I'm going to go ahead and add that into the crease and just blend it. I'm going to go ahead and top it off with the shimmer. The shimmer I'm going to go ahead and use is, I think I'm going to use Calendula, this one here at the top. Use that shimmer for the lid. It's right here on top. Gives you like a really nice sparkle. I'm gonna go ahead and wet the brush because it looks, I do wanna get more sparkle to this. So give me one second. All right, I'm back. So I'm gonna go ahead and wet my brush with my Neogen All Day Locking Fixer. Maybe it's not a spray, maybe it's not a setting spray. It's just fixing, just to maximize the longevity of makeup. So I think it's like a MAC fix. Uh, fixing set <laughs> so it's not as it's not a spray at least it's good enough to wet my brush and I can use that sparkle for and this is the setting spray you guys Neogen so I'm going to use that for the calendula wow look at that shimmer guys Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Wow. Very wonderful. I'm gonna go ahead and use an inner corner highlight. I'm gonna go ahead and use this shade called um, Musk Rose, which is this one here. I'm gonna put that in the inner corner. Wow, look at that. Look at that. It's so blinding. This musk rose could be a highlight for the skin. I already have highlight. I have all my complexion products on. I just came on here to put on the eyeshadow, guys. 
And I was so excited to share these news with you about Ace Beauty and the history, the owner. I was like, wow. I also wanted to create a spring inspired look with you guys as well using this recycled palette or, or what. When I say shop my stash, I always consider maybe something. Look how, look how dazzling that is. Okay. When I say shop my stash, I always think about new makeup that you have from your stash that you have not introduced to your channel yet, which I have that. I have done unboxings, but I have not done makeup looks with those with that makeup so it's makeup that i have in my stash that i have not used yet so i'm gonna go ahead and come off camera do the other eye and i'll come back on all right you guys so i'm back so this is finishing look with my eyeshadow palette oh right here in front of me sorry guys is the ace ut floral vintage palette so if you did not snag one sorry you should it's really pretty has very very nice pigmented shades um i love the color story springtime you can create a lot of combination of colors in here you have greens you have neutrals you can even create a nice uh, natural look with this i decided to go a little bit more glam soft glam I'm going to get up close so you can see the finishing look. I don't wear any falsies. All right. So I have my P. Louise Fall in Line Brownie and Blondie Eyeliner, Liquid Eyeliner. On the top lash line and then at the bottom lash line or bottom water line I have the I am resilient by real her metallic bronze eyeliner just is this shade right here so that's what's under here and here okay All right, so then for my mascara, I am using my Bambi Eye Mascara. This is waterproof as well. It's real crispy. My lashes are crispy right now, <laughs> but uh, they really do give me some volume and lengthening as well. So you can see them from the side maybe. Yeah, maybe you can catch the curl, the lift from there maybe. And for the lip, I am using my Bite Beauty. First of all, the lip liner that I'm using is my um, Mary Kate and Ashley Line My Lips Lip Liner, Mary Kate and Ashley. This is a brand that came out from Wet n Wild or LA Colors. There might have been another brand before Wet n Wild that came out with this, um, it was a limited edition. And this is in the shade Natural. I use that for the lining on my lips. So this is really old. It's a really old lip liner, but it still works. It's not It's not bad. Didn't go bad on me. Um, the Bite Beauty, though, haven't had, I haven't had this one for years. I've had this for maybe a year a year or two. And it's, the formula has already dried out, dried out on me. And it's in the shade Goo, Good Jujube. Sorry if I can even speak. Good Jujube, and it's like a light nude shade, like a natural shade. And then on top of that, I just wanted to give it a little hint of, I wanted to get more of like a peachy tone, but I couldn't get one. Uh, I'm using my lip, I'm using my my panning project product. So I went ahead and I put this shade 06 Boo from Kaja. I put that on top in the center. So it gave me like a little pink hue. You know, it's not natural, like, it was really light, like flesh tone natural. And I was like, well, you know, it really didn't cohese with my eye look. So this is my finishing look, you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. And let me know if you, if you knew this about Ace Beauty.
about the owner, you know, and um, yeah, give me information. Maybe I'm, there's information that um, that is different now that I that I didn't know that I didn't know that I didn't know about that is different now. So uh, yeah, so yeah, that's all I wanted to share with you guys. I want to share this really nice look with you. So if you stay connected with me. And on Instagram, you'll be seeing my reels whenever I create looks. I always put reels up with my looks on them on Instagram and TikTok. You connect, you can connect with me on there. And um, yeah, you can see my reels with of the look, you know, poses, p pictures and poses of, of the looks that I created with my eyeshadow palette. So thank you for being here. Thank you for being huge loyal supporters of my channel. I'll see you in my next video. I'll see you all. Bye. Have a great, wonderful day. Mwah.